Here's where we were yesterday. We were messing around with this little railing. Let's just set it off to the side here. Now I have not yet read all the comments from yesterday's video, but I would imagine, let's see if we can get that little platform up. I don't want to scratch any more of the paint off of it than I have to. Okay, now I am sure that somebody else saw what I saw. Okay, let's get that glued back on and uh, we'll see it again. Put a little bit of CA thin on this one. On this one. And on this one. Now let's try and grab a hold of this thing here. I think right there is good. I'll just set this back on here. See, he's going to cure on me if I don't hurry up. Oh. Okay, I'm going to reposition the camera because it's kind of in the way here. I hope you can see this okay. By the way, this is the uh, CA medium this time. supposed to go on top How can I push that in without knocking it off Well, it looks somewhat better. Okay, now, what do you see there? Remember, yesterday we were we were trying to get this little uh, railing to go right up against this uh, uh, part of the turret here. Well, that was wrong. It it should be <clears throat> excuse me. It should be so that. Somebody can come along here and walk out onto this platform. There's supposed to be an opening there. Now, I will not be surprised if when I read the comments, somebody else is going to have seen that. Let's see if we can get this out of here without wrecking everything now. Um, so, so I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm going to uh, make up a new one. Probably, I'm thinking of it just to have, have a post right there and another post here by the railing and just give it a little slight bend right here well let's not talk about it let's just do it but like I said before talk is cheap okay we've cut a new piece here and uh, I've angled the post on the left just a little bit so can I release it there well, something like that. I'm going to get everything lined up again just a little differently. I'm going to use my uh, holder downer to hold it down. And then uh, I think that's going to be good. I don't know why I didn't notice that yesterday. Okay, i got to be honest. It's still yesterday. 
In fact, episode 380 has only been uploaded for about an hour or two. So, uh, yeah, today's video is probably going to be a little longer. So, okay, let's not overdo it and knock it down. Try and get some on this end. There, I saw it go on. I'll try and carefully get some in from behind here. Get this post over here. Ooh. It scared me there. I thought it was going to stick to the applicator. Now that's going to do really, really well once it once it sets. This is the CA medium, or the thinned out medium, let's put it that way. And for those of you who were concerned about me yesterday, well, I, I was okay. I just started real, real late. So that's why things went the way they went. I would think about an hour has passed now. We should be able to safely be able to take this off. And, uh... During that time, I went and I checked my comments and edited out the last few scenes. And in the comments, uh, I was surprised that still nobody had picked up on the fact that this was supposed to be open. So anyway, our little crewman, he can come along here and he can, he can get himself out and he can go onto the catwalk and do whatever it is you have to do to the front of these ventilators. I, I believe there were ventilators... Possibly, well, no, I, I was going to say that they were for the uh, turret, but I'm noticing you may not be able to see. Well, yeah, you can see it. They go down through the bottom of the uh, the deck here. So I guess whatever it was that they ventilated was underneath there, obviously. Otherwise, they wouldn't be shaped like that. When I was first looking at them, I thought they had something to do with the, uh, you know, air conditioning for the turret. But anyway, obviously they weren't. Yeah. I finally picked up on something before everybody else did. I'm feeling really good about that. We have a drawing in Stefan's book, and it kind of confirms our theory. It's not real, real clear, but it uh, it shows, you know... Uh, well, I'll, I'll zoom in on this area right here. By the way, this is the ladder that we broke off and had to glue back on. We are right at the very edge of the page here. I wish that the uh, photo went just a little bit more to the right, but it doesn't. Anyway, here's the rail, here's the uh, the uh, ladder that we broke off, and right here you can see the fence that we put, uh, the railing that we just put on. Okay, here's the first post, here's the second post. Now, what we don't have is a third post that actually attaches to the catwalk. This is the catwalk looking edge on. Um, yeah. So that's what it was. And you, you'll notice that there's some kind of a railing here that uh, I, I believe this is not fastened to the turret. I believe it is. this is actually a railing that is fastened to this post right here and goes around so that the uh, catwalk itself had a railing. Now, we're not going to go to that much detail. It could be that uh, the add-on detail kits will have that kind of stuff. And But anyway, once again you know, giving you more information than you need here. Anyway, there was sort of an opening there for somebody to get through. Now, we've beaten this to death. Let's move on. We have moved on. It is the next morning. And uh, last night, just before I called it a day, I checked my comments, and it turns out that somebody else did spot that. Congratulations, John. You're smart like me. I'm just kidding around, of course. Anyway, now we can move on. I've spent the last hour or so gluing the catwalk back on the starboard side and also uh, put the uh, railing on. And uh, I tried to... Uh, speed things up by using my little rubber hose trick and breathing through it and a little droplet of water landed right here where I'm painting over with the deck tan and uh, 
what happened was it uh, it uh, current weight as you saw there I'm just going to try and cover that over maybe I should have it a little bit thicker here and then hopefully when it dries it'll more all blend into the rest of the deck now I know it does look like it's I don't know if that helped or hindered anyway I'm noticing here that my little platform or catwalk rather is kind of sloped the wrong way but it's the uh, CA has uh, cured on that already so it's not going to be easily changed without breaking it off. So I think I'll just leave it because I didn't notice it until just right now so it can't be all that bad. A little bit of uh, CA on here. What happened was when I was messing around over here I accidentally broke off this uh, ventilator and when I was trying to glue it back on it flipped around and it landed on here so I don't know, once again, I don't know if I'm going to make it better or worse. Maybe I should be using a, a different brush here for this. It's kind of getting a little bit uh, a little rough there. Uh, it, it actually looks okay unless the light hits it and then you can see the shine from the uh, CA glue. Alright, now well, maybe I'll take some dark gray and uh, just touch up the railing there. I have adjusted the light here so you can see what I was talking about. You can see the CA reflecting. Just paint this over and hopefully when it dries flat we're not going to see that. Okay, it's more or less dried here now. I am noticing though that there is a bit of a, a change in the color just sort of wondering if I was to brush it a little bit here am I going to make it better or worse uh, of course this is just a dry brush just sort of sort of scrub it in I don't know if I'm maybe going to end up polishing it um, the deck tan that's off to the sides is over a year old now so it could well be that after you know a few days that this new paint is going to blend in a little better because it's out of the same jar and again with the lighting from over our shoulder and from overhead and this is the way most of my shots are taken as near as I can see here we have got everything on the aft section that needs a railing I can't see any place where we could put a railing um, yeah that brings us up to the I guess you call it the fore section and as you can see here we got some pretty wild curves that we got to work around. It could be that on this section here is where I will, you know, take the viewer's advice and do it in, you know, more than one piece. It would be nice if I could bend everything in one piece, but uh, I do believe now we are going to have enough railing to go all the way around the, the uh, main gunnel. So uh, maybe we'll be doing this in... Uh, two maybe three pieces we'll, we'll just see how it goes here maybe from here around to here and then I don't know we'll see how it goes now if I'm smart I'm gonna put this uh, safety hook or hoop rather back on that'll help protect this and uh, yesterday afternoon I accidentally broke this off again Remember we broke it off about a month ago and I had to put it on? Well, I just put it on again this morning. Um, yeah, there's a couple of other things that got broken off. Uh, you, you don't notice them, but I know where they are and I know what they are. they got to be all you know, put on. But you know, uh, there is something that we should be doing today. Uh, it is Saturday and I'm hoping that Kerry is going to be a cellar dweller. And he's the one that I've been trying to get that easy line from. And I'm guessing at the rate this railing is going, it's probably going to be done, I'm thinking, uh, in a month from now. Hope maybe less. I was going to say hopefully from less. But on the other hand, when I'm finished, this, what, else, what am I going to do? You know. Anyway, I think we should try and, uh, and phone and uh, 
find out if Kerry found out anything about that. He was supposed to email on me on it oh, going on two months ago. I'll have to check my records. Okay. Is this Carrie? Yes. This is Ron Calverly. Hi, how are you? I'm not too bad. I remember a couple of months ago we were talking about the Easy Line. Yeah, I've exhausted all my suppliers. I thought I'd be able to get it. I have not been able to find it from anybody. No kidding, okay. No, no, and they won't send it direct to me. So I have not been able to get it from anybody. Where did you get the first batch that you had? A fellow in uh, Toronto sent me a sample, one of my viewers. Well, I'll, uh, I think I can get it on Amazon, but, you, but you know, it's going to be like uh, $35. I know. That's the problem is they, they, they don't have it set up to sell uh, like to a dealer. So it's the same thing. I can go and get it, but I'm, it's exactly the same as what, like, if you get it. I mean, they don't have any kind of a dealer discount or anything for margin. So, yeah, it's, and it's too bad because it looks like a great product. Yeah. Uh, I think I, it is a great product. It's fantastic. I didn't know there was such a thing existed until uh, a fellow by the name of Tony, and he actually lives in Mississauga, and uh, he uh, he sent it uh, to me. And uh, uh, I think he did say something about he he's getting some more. But uh, anyway, yeah, like I said, I've had zero luck because when you had, had told me about it, I mean, if I could get it, I would keep it in the store because I would probably sell tons of that stuff. Yeah, I think you probably would. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll have to get it from Amazon. Uh, you know, I, I I don't need it for about a month yet, but I'm almost done the railings and and. Uh, yeah, and you're getting close to where you're going to need them. That's right. I, that I really wish I could help you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to track anything down for you uh, for any less uh, than what you're going to do because I would have to basically do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for trying. I really oh, no, appreciate. I, I thank you for the heads up because boy, if I could have found it, I would have loved it. Okay, speaking of heads up, I'm I'm sitting here looking at the screen right now on your website, and they're still sending people to your old place there at the dry well, cleaners. You know what's happened? The, the fellow, actually, we're just about to finish having a reason. The fellow who was... How's your dad doing? Uh, actually, quite good. Yeah, quite good. He's, uh, you know, he comes in here usually once a week still, and, uh, um, you know, doesn't do as much in the winter. You know, they don't go away anymore in the winter because they're both in their 80s, and it's just, uh, it, it's maybe just but no, he's still building and everything, and in the summer he's still flying and does a little bit of golfing and that kind of stuff. And so yeah, they're both doing pretty good. Well, if you think of it, you tell him Ron Calverly said hello. Absolutely, I will. I'm going over there tonight to drop off something for him for an airplane. I'll tell him that you called and said hi. All right, thank you very much. Always nice talking to you, Ron. Well, it's a good thing we got lots of time, right? You know, these things here, I bought at Cellar Dweller. Probably, uh, I'm guessing, uh, 40 years ago. Uh, you heard me mention, uh, or, or ask Carrie how his dad was doing. His dad started Cellar Dweller way back in the 70s. And uh, it was Carrie's dad that helped me with my first successful radio control plane. And I, I was huge into it. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. And every once in a while I do think to myself, should I get back into that again, you know? Uh, should I make another RC model? Uh, you know, I, I'd like to try electric. Electric uh, wasn't really any good way back then. Whereas now they've improved on batteries and all the rest of it, so it's a lot, a lot better now. Uh, in fact, as far as I'm concerned, it's the way to go. However, uh, 
yeah, I bought the Easy Line. Uh, I'll, I'll look around. I haven't give, given up on it. Uh, I, you know, for those of you who thought yesterday's episode was weird, <laughs> well, it looks like I did it again. Uh, um, we'll wait until tomorrow and we'll get in here on the four section and cut some railing and get it on. In, in the meantime, thanks for watching and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.